The construction industry is one of the world's biggest emitters of CO2. Production of cement alone is estimated to account for 7-8% to of total global emissions. My name is Dr. Du Hongjian, and I'm interested in how we can make the construction industry cleaner and greener. In my research, I am exploring how we can use waste materials that would otherwise end up in landfill to make low-carbon concrete. One exciting possibility is using waste from electric vehicle batteries as a substitute for cement. As global adoption of EVs grows, with the average battery life of about 7 to 8 years, levels of waste is expected to soar. Instead of ending up in landfill, we are developing low-cost, low-environmental impact ways to process this waste and give it value. This is what is known as black mass. It is a waste iron phosphate that comes from lithium iron phosphate batteries, one of the two most common types of EV battery. Waste processors will usually extract the valuable lithium, but until now, there has been no use for the iron phosphate which makes up the bulk of the battery. But we have found a simple, low-energy treatment. Grinding the waste iron phosphate into a fine powder produces not one but potentially two valuable construction resources. First, it can be used to replace up to 10% of the cement used in construction concrete. As a bonus to this, we've also found that the chemical reaction it produces in concrete can actually refine the concrete's microstructure and improve its performance. Secondly, processed EV waste can be used as a set retarder, a valuable and otherwise relatively expensive commodity used in the construction sector to delay the speed at which concrete hardens. This can be particularly useful in the fast-growing field of 3D printing concrete. So here, at the Structural Engineering Laboratory at CDE, we are using cutting-edge equipment to measure and analyze how our processed EV waste affects the performance of concrete. This helps us test the strength, durability, water penetration, weathering, and the microstructure of the concrete, allowing us to determine the optimal mix ratios, and in some cases, how EV waste can actually produce concrete with improved performance. Singapore uses around 4 to 5 million tons of cement annually, and the amount is expected to rise. Going forward, we are also looking at other cement replacement using processed waste materials such as recycled glass, construction and demolition waste, and waste from water desalination plants. By doing this, we are finding innovative ways to create new value, cut emissions, and build a greener construction industry.